The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Preaxer Zemium Fungicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. I am down at Ridgetown College, joined by Omafra plant pathologist Albert Tenuta. How's it going, Albert? Excellent. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hey, these are some pretty nice beans. And uh, I want to talk about this canopy and weather. We've got a lot of moisture. We're, uh, we're in that disease season now. Yep. White mold is upon us. And I want to talk about this can canopy, Albert. I mean, uh, is this problematic in your definition of a good canopy and managing white mold? What do you see here? Oh, I see potential there for white mold for sure. And you know, you also have to think about the history of it. The, you know, have we had white mold in the past? You know, is there a, is there the sclerotia there? Those things play an important factor into this. And definitely this, you know, the row space in here, the plant populations, a beautiful even canopy yep. here. We have other fields where, you know, they're waist high already. And yep. those are ideal canopy situations or, or uh, developments that can promote white mold. You're gonna get that moisture. You're gonna get that environment for disease, Albert. Um, here's a question for you. Um, can we make this canopy better from a management perspective for next year? Should we choose different rows, maybe change up our varieties? How can we make this better for yeah. managing white mold? Yeah, so it's, you know, that's a tough question because the, it's a fine balance, right? Because you wanna, everything you're doing here to get that maxim, maximize, that canopy is for maximizing yield. Mm. At the same time, you're influencing the white mold. So there's that balance. How do you maximize yield while lowering your white mold risk? And so starts with, you know, row spacing. You know, these are 15 inch soybeans. You could go to 30, you know, you more and more 30s we're starting to see as well. And that, that's one way of doing it. But again, on 15s, you can lower your plant population. Mm -hmm. You can get your varieties. We don't have really truly resistant varieties and even tolerances is so-so. What we're talking about is the architecture, those more upright beans, um, architecture soybeans versus those bushy ones. Yeah. Those ones can help us in terms of reducing that favorable environment in there, allow more air movement through, et cetera. Lowering those plant populations. So instead of, you know, 180 to 220 or, or higher, you're, you know, that 120, 130, even lower than that. You know, there's a lot of work being done where it's down to 100,000. But again, you've got to know your fields. You got to take that risk as well there. So lowering those plant populations, widening those rows, selecting the right variety, knowing your history, that is a key as well. All of those th things can influence those sclerotia in the soil and whether or not they increase their risk for that they'll infect those blossoms. Yeah. So it's all about managing risk and managing you know, yield and finding that fine line between as I say, disease yeah. and yield. Yeah, and, and then the fungicides in there as well, right? Yeah. And that whole timing. Exactly, big part of the story, but it all starts in the canopy, right? It does.